Ah. Hello YouTube, Jibo Unit here, and I am going to do a video on an, uh, an AR-15 build. Okay, so I finally received my AR parts, and I'm very excited to put this together. Uh, this is going to be, um, I'm guessing from all of you AR experts, a relatively simple build because the rifle kit that I ordered from Delton Incorporated came with a completely assembled upper. Okay, the only thing I'm really going to be assembling is the lower parts kit and the receiver. So, um, the upper I received from Delton. I ordered it from Delton in North Carolina. Um, very good company, very good customer service. Um, you can order a standard um, rifle kit from them uh, and you can order options. The options I ordered was Magpul MOE, uh, Magpul Original Equipment um, Parts, and it is for the 16-inch barreled mid-length rifle kit. So, let me show you what I got. Oh, well, let me do the boring parts first. The rifle kit came with, a, with the mil-spec buffer tube, came with this spring here, which I imagine it goes here, comes with this piece here that I imagine goes here like this because it looks like it fits in there like so. Um, I will figure that out as I go along putting this together. But this came with the kit. Um, other things that came with the kit is the upper. Okay, This is the piece that's fully assembled. has an a2 flash hider has a standard um, front sight. Does have a pick up a rail here, um, and it has just your standard charging handle and bolt. Okay, and um, the mid length handguard here is Magpul MOE. It is an OD green, and you can see. You know, this is this is the handguard. Pretty slick, and I like the color. You know, it's pretty nice. Um, what it doesn't come with is rails. <laughs> I had to order rails separately from Magpul. Uh, they still have not arrived yet, but I do need the rail. I need a bottom rail because I got this as an extra. I got the angled foregrip, and you know, basically it goes like this. I would hold it like so. It would go on here like that. Okay. Um, it's just more ergonomic as opposed to using this. Okay. This would go on here if there's a rail. And, you know, maybe I'll try it just to see what it's like. And then I would most likely use this right here. Okay. So, I mean, when you hold it, it's just a little more ergonomic as opposed to holding it like this. So I get to hold it at an angle, relax my wrist and hand a little bit. So that's what this is right here. All right, along with the kit came the pistol grip. This is also Magpul MOE and just goes like that. It's It feels nice. I mean, I, I don't have large hands and uh, this is this is a pretty nice size solid grip um, so I like that uh, the last piece for MOE is the buttstock um, it's got the adjustable trigger here so I can run it six positions on this buffer tube okay and uh, rubber buttstock here and um, also OD green and uh, you know it's it's pretty nice. I can't wait to put this thing together. So that's it for the Magpul MOE items. Um, let me move this out of the way here. Okay. Um, the piece that I've been waiting for is this. This is the lower receiver. This is what I've been waiting for from JD Machine. I got this from JD Machine Tech in San Diego, California, and uh, oh, this is a really nice piece. Um, I really like it. 
and um, this is what I needed to complete the parts in order to build this AR-15. So, you know, it's, a, it's machined out of a solid block of aluminum, and uh, the, the shop was real nice. I mean, it was it was real neat how they how they actually make these things. Um, to see it from from a block of aluminum to this finished piece, it's pretty cool. All right, well, let me grab the camera and show you all the parts to the lower parts kit. Okay. I've got all the parts laid out here so it's easier to, you know, to look at. <coughs> all right. So I'll just start from you know, from up here going this way, all right? So right here, this is the trigger, okay? This is the hammer, all right? This is the hammer. This is the hammer spring, okay? This is the trigger spring, okay? This is called a disconnector. This fits inside of the trigger, fits inside here. Um, this is a disconnector, okay? This is the um, the disconnector spring, part of this. This is the selector, or actually it's called, you know, we would call it a safety, okay? It's a safety selector, okay? Um, if it was actually a selector, then it, you know, so it would select between safety, fire, and fully automatic. Since we cannot have fully automatic weapons, this is more regarded as a safety. Okay, so just semantics. All right, this L-shaped piece here is the magazine catch. We have here the magazine catch spring, and we have the magazine catch button. Okay, um, we've got the bolt stop catch. Okay, right here. This is the trigger guard. Now, you see this little thing here sticking out at the end that is a, a spring loaded detent and I'll show you how that works on the trigger guard uh, there isn't one here because it uses a pin alright uh, speaking of pins um, this is the pivot pin along the larger one this is the takedown pin okay um, this is the buffer retainer spring and the buffer retainer okay and this is the pistol grip screw and the pistol grip washer. All right, these two little pieces right here are detents. Okay, they're identical in shape and size. These are detent springs. They're also identical in shape and size. Okay, this spring is slightly different. Okay, this is the selector detent spring. And this is a selector detent. Okay? This is the detent spring for the bolt stop. Okay? This is the trigger guard pin. Okay, this is going to go right in here. Okay? That works with that. This smaller identical looking piece is the bolt catch pivot pin. Okay? This is the bolt stop detent. Okay, and then these two pieces are identical. They're, it's the hammer pin and the trigger pin. Okay, so those are basically the parts, you know, for the lower receiver. This is the lower parts kit right here. Okay, those are all the parts here that will go inside this receiver. So the next video is going to be uh, assembling this lower parts kit, okay? And I'll see you in the next video.